everyone. I'm Asiye Namdar. Welcome to CCTV America. The international community is coming to the aid of Iraq's Kurds as they confront a threat from Islamic State militants. A French aircraft delivered humanitarian supplies to the Kurdish stronghold of Erbil. And now France says it will arm Kurdish forces who are also getting military equipment from the United States. Britain says it will join the effort to rescue thousands of minority Yazidis trapped by the militants. But in Baghdad, there's a brewing political crisis. Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki wants the court to decide whether he should step aside. Associated Press Bureau Chief Vivian Salama has our story. Nouri al-Maliki uh, has come out today in his usual weekly address to essentially say that he has no intentions of stepping down, that he is waiting for a federal court ruling to decide whether replacing him is constitutionally legitimate, as he says it isn't. He is determined to run for a third, to, to stand for a third term in office. However, the larger Shia alliance in parliament has selected an alternative candidate to him. And so Nouri al-Maliki, very defiant as ever, despite the fact that his support is waning, even among some of his biggest allies, especially Iran, who have all said that they prefer a transition of power instead of keeping Nouri al-Maliki uh, as prime minister for a third term. There are tens of thousands of refugees and displaced people still believed to be in Sinjar Mountain. Uh, we, we're hearing that uh, many of them have been escorted off through alternative means, uh, escorted by some uh, militias and fighters from Syria and allowed back into Iraq. We're hearing that others have been airlifted out by the Iraqi military. Some are hiding under trees and some unfortunately would have passed away because they did not have access to food and water and medicine and these other things. However, uh, the British and the French and the Americans who are uh, looking to support the Kurdish military may not be alone. The, um, the European Union's 25 foreign ministers will be meeting for an emergency meeting this Friday where they hope to discuss uh, ways that they can all collaboratively uh, pitch in and help both the Kurdish people and the uh, 1.7 million displaced people that are now gathered up in northern Iraq. Our thanks to Vivian Salama.